All right, we back. We got to talk about this whole pack. Because I feel like it had some really strong stuff and some really weak-ass shit. Not weak-ass shit, but, like, I don't know. Not as strong. So, okay, let's, let's put them in order of how we like them. Pineapple. You, you go first. Pineapple. I would do regular <laughs> lemonade, mango. That's a really high citrus for you. I know, but it's regular lemonade. Okay. Um, what did I say? Oh, pineapple, lemonade, mango, strawberry. Okay, and what about you? Mm, I think I'd do the pineapple, lemonade, strawberry, mango. I'm doing the pineapple, mango, lemonade, then strawberry. But you always like the mango stuff. It was it was really clean for me. Like I I feel like Mike's not Mike's Truly's lemonades are too sweet. But I still drink them. Don't ask me why. I don't know why. Because they're good, but they're too sweet. Um So like overall as a pack, like how does everybody feel about this? Like we've clearly drank a lot of packs. I think it gets an eight as a whole. Uh, I think they're that every flavor in the pack would get consumed. Oh, yeah, there's nothing I would skip or, like, right. save for the last one. I don't want to ever fucking drink right. it again. It's worthy enough pack to buy the pack. Yes. Yeah, because like, I wouldn't skip anything flavors. in the pack. Yeah, there's enough good flavors to make it worth your I feel like... It. It's like, if you're going to buy a pack just for one flavor, you're wasting your money. Which but I... This, you're going to get value out of right. all the flavors. Because, like, a lot of these p new packs that are coming out or, like, people that are, like, just releasing seltzers or whatever, they're trying to, like, feel it out. And I just feel like this pack, like, if they made any of these in the 12-pack by itself as a single flavor, I would still buy it. It's a good combination of flavors. Yeah, because you have two basic and two not basic. Yeah. It's, it's a good balance of, of a variety of flavors. So what are you giving it? Overall, the pack, I'd give it at least an eight. You said eight? Yeah. Yeah, I'd give the whole pack an eight. Mm -hmm. I really want to give it eight and a half. I, and that's only because the mango and the pineapple put me in such a good space today. Um, but I'll go with the eight because I get it. I, mean, it. I could do eight or eight and a half. Yeah, really. I'm not. I'm, I only reason it. why I say eight and a half is because usually with Mike's and like, especially with their malt liquor, it's a hit or miss. Like it is a definitely like it's either tastes like fucking cough syrup. Or like too heavy, or it's like just right, and I feel like with the seltzer, like they killed it, yeah. like across the board. They I don't did. feel like they lacked, they they, and any single this flavor. Is their they first would... entree into the seltzer. Game, yeah, because they, they don't, they don't have. I yeah. mean, like Four Locos even has seltzers, and that shit is right. awful. Yeah, awful. Yeah, no, but I feel like if this is their first dip into the seltzer did. game, like what a strong beginning. I mean, they're a comp. They're a comp competitive with white claw and truly oh pack. hell yeah for sure um i would choose this people. over any truly pack except for just tangerine by itself or any white claw pack I, i'm all four flavors are that strong in the game like the corona or yes the bud light or over natty them. light natty Ooh. light oh Oh, I hit a soft spot because you love the natties. So, so as, what'd you give natties? We oh, we, we have never way before. before. Oh. So we that needs to be revisited. You know, I feel like we need to make a video for the natties. Yeah, Maybe later on this week. I said we weren't going to make a video. Get the respect the others have gotten. She does have a point. Because um, before their time. I'm gonna say this. We'll make a video reviewing the Natty Seltzers. We will. <laughs> We've been drinking them long enough that yeah, I've... For a long time. And we talk about them in several videos that we have. That's like yes. the usual go-to. Because it's so good. Right. Like, That's I feel like of all the brands out there, how is Mike's and Natty just, like, yeah. crushing it? Yeah. Um, but we will do a video. Only Natty because beers are so terrible. They got me through college, so Natty, but I'll give did, you that. They did, um, they did come to the Seltzer game in a good way. Had they been in a slim can, they would have... No, I like them in the regular can only yeah. because Natty to me is like so many memories that like, you're going to do that? Don't give me a slim can. Don't bougie it up. <laughs> Natty, don't... don't. I love that you didn't bougie it because you ain't bougie. Love it. But, but we're going to do a video. You, I told you yesterday I like the slim can because it's a She's little She's all about slim. She's bougie. Elegante. She just said elegante like that's not bougie. <laughs> Like your, um, RuPaul's Drag Race with your Alaganza. Yes. It was Dollar try. Anybody watch TikTok? Because that dude is hysterical. But when they're 
there in like a beer can, it reminds me of beer. When it's in a tall, slim can. Um, when it's, it's in a regular of a dainty seltzer. beverage. It's like a when it's in a regular can, I'm like, oh, thank God it fits in my koozie. Jesus, because I have a slim yeah, can koozie, koozie and I have to like go stuff. look for them. Like I don't know, Natty. To me, like you can't put that in a slim can. You just can't. Yeah, I don't think it would have the same. Marketing taste. wise. I don't think people that typically, and first of all, if you've never had a 40 of Natty Ice, you need to get your life together, because that shit, ooh. Slim cans hit different. Yeah, but ha, Mike's, I get why they did the Slim Can. But what about- Because the they've always been in like tall, like when you buy Mike's Hard Lemonade, like whether you're in college or whatever, you either got it in a bottle. Glass bottle. A yeah. glass bottle, or they came in the big cans. They didn't ever really come in the smaller cans. No. So, like, I get the Slim Can. Yeah, but what about the Bud Premium, Bud Light Premiums or whatever? Those were, like, the Platinums? Tall, those Platinums, were, yeah. Like a tall beer can. Yeah, no, no, it wasn't a deuce juice. It was, like, a six. It was a pint. It was yeah. a pint. Mm -hmm. So, the pint's different. In the but they also went, but, but yeah, but yeah. It, yeah, and it also wasn't in a slim. It would fit into my regular koozie. Yeah, those were regular size. Again, Bud Light, cans. thank you for that. Even though your lemonades were also in slim cans and the other seltzers you have, but they I appreciate that. Game. Did we, do you have scores for that or was that before you started scoring? No, we have scores and video oh, okay. for the Bud Light Platinums. Right. Everything uh, but, the, uh, uh. yeah, everything but the Wild Berry. Cause we already no, had the, we did the Wild Berry. We did the Citrus and the Blood Orange. There was like a variety I, pack. I, I, I almost died. Day, and Arianne said we did it. I almost fell out of my chair on the deck. Cause I loved it that much. So Bud Light Platinum. That was, that was when you went to Total Beverage and came in with a big haul. Yes, but we never, that was before we were doing reviews. We were just oh, trying right. different things. I swear when we did the variety pack, I made a video. Maybe you made a video, but I didn't do that. Oh, no. We didn't start doing this until the ugly sweater. Oh, no, no, no. There's there's a video. There's definitely a video. Well, I don't have the Instagram of that then as to what we I don't. I think that was before we were rating things. I think so. Because we were still sitting outside. Yes. So I, I think that's like before. Yes. Um, but Blood Light Platinum, I'm glad you brought that up because that's definitely like it's our okay. top tier. Yeah. This variety pack, top tier. We're going to review the Natties. I know people are going to judge me about it, but I really don't give a shit because I'm a grown ass woman. And at some point, I think you need to do that. Like, what? Compare all the top tier ones. Yeah. Revisit that. Um. And then we, the truly mixed berry pack was, we liked it, but I don't think it's up there with the I mean because it had the like acai blueberry the wild berry the raspberry raspberry um we'll have to do that but we're gonna review the natty first because I just feel like if you haven't tried all of them who are you who are you so we'll pick that up this week and we'll do a video and then we'll probably do a video just talking about all the ones that we fear are top Fill our top tier mix packs. But this is top tier worthy. But yeah. Mike's, you did your job. Yeah. Like you put in the work, and you were like, "You, it, you did it." I'm sorry, go but go talk to Michelob Ultra. Help them. Yeah, cause that shit. Who's that, Mike's? Help them out. Y'all need to talk to Michelob. Maybe you know what Michelob is like? Unseasoned chicken. I'm saying it. Unseasoned chicken. Just blah. That's sad. That was not good. Mike's, go give them a little Lowry's, a little soul food season. Put that little shit on there. Um, well, shit. I guess we're making another video this week. I know we said we wouldn't, but we are. Um, so you'll see us, like, Thursday, Friday, possibly Saturday. Super Bowl's on Sunday, so it won't be on Super Bowl Sunday. But we will get a Natty 12-pack, because I think I drink most of the one downstairs. And we'll do a review. I still say the same thing every time I drink them, so don't think that, like, it's going to be, like, a new reaction. It's the same shit every time I do it. Um... Be well. Enjoy the rest of this day. Go get a drink. You deserve it. Cheers.